What is up, guys? Pie Muffin here, and we are back with some more SAO Variant Showdown. So, we have a new banner and event to go over. I have some uh, things to say about it, of course, but uh, yeah, let's just hop right into things. So, uh, it is kind of unfortunate that, um, you know, they don't do it how Unleash Blading used to do it, where they'd kind of tell us the ban. I mean, they tell us a banner almost like 12 hours before it's going to drop. But it would be nice if, like, the info was in-game. You know, we could look at the stats and everything like we usually do. But, unfortunately, it seems we have to wait for the actual banner itself in most cases. But we have what seems to be uh, school outfits for Kirito and Sinon here. Uh, they seem to be kind of like Gun Gale slash school outfits. Now, first thing I want to gripe about. As you can see here in the artwork, Kirito has his guns, or he has his uh, energy blade, as well as a gun in hand, but he doesn't actually use that in battle. In battle, he has his normal, like, elucidator uh, and his other sword. Um, so, I, I just don't understand, like, <laughs> why are we getting these such nice models if we can't even... Especially since there's no actual weapon types in the game, like, why can't we just have a Kirito that has... His, uh, you could have, like, two of his abilities be for his energy sword. And then have an ability that's his gun. You can make him, like, a ranged slash melee hybrid character. But maybe someday they'll do that. But for right now, it looks like... <clears throat> and I'm sure his, uh... I'm, it, it's funny, because even the name of the unit, Shining Photon Sword Kirito. He doesn't even use the Photon Sword. And I highly doubt his ultimate is even, uh... I was gonna call it an incarnate... I doubt his ultimate is even, you know, anything different than Starburst Stream, but I guess we'll see here when we look at his stats, but that's my complaint about it. We're going to throw one multi at it, just, you know, why not? Um, but let's look at everything first. So, finishing skill, Starburst Stream. Why are we not doing new things? This is so boring. All right, whatever. I I've said what, what I have to say about that. I'm just really disappointed in so many things with this game. Um, but obviously, like, you know, gotcha system's one thing, but now the units are just, like, they're just, it, they could have literally just been skins, for the most part. That's what it really feels like, but who knows? Maybe at some point we'll finally get some new animations and stuff like that when, I don't know. But I really just don't see a reason to go crazy for these characters when they're not different in any way. Um, okay, so he's a water sword unit. Uh, water elemental physical damage, 400 power for his, uh, normal attack. Um, assault rampage, water elemental physical damage with 1300 power, inflicts paralysis. Water inflicting paralysis is interesting. Cyclone tone, water elemental physical damage with 600 power, inflicts freeze. I mean, those abilities are good. And then, of course, Starburst Stream is exactly what it always is. Uh, for switching, uh, plus 20% power for next attack. I perform a timely switch. Whole party switch cooldown minus 10%. That's pretty cool. Um, bullet cleaving photon sword when enemy is inflicted with paralysis status. Skill plus 5%. Uh, skill power plus 5%. When using switch, strength plus 10% for 10 seconds. Okay. We can look over here for status ailment stuff. Okay. Now let's take a look at Sinon. See, at least with Sinon, like, she's not using a different gun in the artwork. So, I have I don't have as many complaints to say with her as I do with Kirito. With Kirito, at least in the artwork, he's having something different. Um, normal attack, usual stuff. Okay, you can charge it for high-powered bullets. Uh, plasma bullet, water em elemental, physical damage, 800 power, paralysis. And then Scalding Grenade, Water Elemental, Physical Damage, 600 Power. Interesting, it doesn't have... Since it's called Scalding Grenade, you would think it would have Burn on it. And then Killing Range, 1840. Is that different than her... I'm going to actually have a problem if this is a different ultimate than her original one. But yet Kirito has three SSRs and still can't get a different ultimate. Um, but we'll look here in a second. Uh, usual stuff for an ultimate, 5,000 power. <clears throat> uh, a bullet to light up the darkness when HP is 100% or higher. What do you mean, or higher? Can you get above 100% HP? Is that a thing? <laughs> uh, charge speed minus 40% for charge attacks when landing, or when landing 40 or more hits. Strength plus 10%. Okay. We didn't look at the switch, actually. 
when using switch movement speed plus 40 percent for 20 seconds that's actually really useful rush gauge accumulation plus 20 percent when performing a timely switch recovers hp by 40 percent that's really useful i actually really like that reset skill cooldown cool all right uh we also have some uh do we not have any uh cards i assume we do okay here we go all right uh keen sniper skill cooldown minus 17 percent. that's pretty useful uh if you're trying to use your skills and rapid succession awakening gauge accumulation plus 20 percent, and then stats are plus 400 hp plus 400 strength and then nothing else okay and then the kirito card i really like this artwork for kirito and he has two guns which of course they're never going to make a unit uh switch cooldown minus 15 percent, and then burst gauge accumulation plus 30 percent when attacking opponents inflicted with paralysis so obviously it's going to work really well for the uh kirito who can paralyze or or the uh the sinon has paralysis as well so uh plus 700 strength and that's it that's so very very attack heavy with that one all right uh i just want to check something because i do actually have the original sinon i want to see if she has a different uh ultimate and if she does then i'm never gonna let it down that this uh that this kirito does not have a different ultimate besides starburst stream uh where is she she's right here okay no it's the same one yeah i'm just really disappointed that th these aren't even like new characters at least with even early unleashed blading had like different animations but i guess with I don't know did they spread their budget too thin by making this super like high model game and they just don't have the money to uh give characters new ultimate attacks but i'm just you know i really don't recommend going crazy until we at least get a pity system or it, it starts to seem like they're actually making new characters and not just giving us fancy artwork in the same characters just a different element but i haven't summoned in a while so i'm just gonna do one multi and uh I guess we'll take a look at the event before we close out the video. Not that I'm expecting anything. 4% rates haven't been uh, super nice to me, so. <sighs> it's what it is. I still think, like, honestly, just double the rates. 4% character, 4% card, and I'd be pretty happy. All right, well, this is at least an SR guaranteed. It can be an SSR. Probably not going to be, though. Yeah, okay. I also don't like the points thing. Because I don't like knowing that I'm getting shafted before I actually pull the units. Like, I, I really wish that wasn't a thing. All right, anyways, let's take a look at the event, since that was utterly worthless. Yeah, my mood is already just bad with this banner. Like, even before I did the summon, like, just because it really just doesn't feel like they're doing anything with these units. They're really not doing anything unique. Like, I, if you're going to release this many banners, like, at least... At, at this point, I just want different characters. If, if we're not going to get new animations for the existing characters getting seasonals, like, just do new characters then. <laughs> Because it's just ridiculous. All right, let's take a look. Uh, Mobile Fortress of Steel is the event. I guess we're fighting this giant robot. Let's uh, let's take a look at everything. Uh, okay, so it looks like there is a. So we have an SSR card for Gun Gale Kirito, burst gauge accumulation plus one second, crit damage plus ten percent when attacking opponents inflicted with paralysis status, two hundred strength, two hundred intellect okay anything else too crazy in here doesn't really s oh wait is there a uh oh there's a sinon card in here as well okay inflicts paralysis status when attacking okay that'll be useful for the for uh the new kirito and sinon switched in characters crit rate plus 10 percent when forming when performing a switch and then strength plus 200 intellect plus 200 okay uh and yeah that's pretty much it so we get how many copies in here one two okay so it looks like you get three copies each here i assume one copy is probably in the story 
yep, one copy each in the story. And I assume the final copy is probably in the event mission somewhere. Okay, it's not in the event mission, so maybe it'll be later when we get more points. Um, I guess we'll look at bonus care. I'm not actually going to do it. There's no point in doing it. I, you know, these stages are relatively easy to complete, so me just doing it every single time. Until there's something new to do or I'm trying to test out a new character, I don't really see a reason to do the stages every time. But let's look at the bonuses here before we end off the video. So obviously the new Kirito and Sinon, uh, both their, the characters and ability cards are going to give a bonus here. It looks like the both Yu-Gi-Oh! ability cards give a bonus here. Um, the SSR Yu-Gi-Oh! is obviously a character here, as well as the SSR uh, Alfheim Asuna. And then I guess there's an SR Alfheim Asuna? I didn't even know that. Uh, I don't have her, obviously. Um, but that's also something you can get as well. And that looks like the Yuki ability card. Interesting that the Yuki ability card, but not the character, is a bonus here as well. So if you want more points, that's what you're going to be going for. And uh, I assume there's just three stages with a fourth stage that will probably get added in a few days. This event goes for 12 days, so this goes until the basically the 25th. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, I guess let me know what you guys think down below about the new Kirito and Sinon, if you were able to pull them. Uh, and let me know what you think about the new event. Like I said, I'm not really going too crazy on the game right now until I really see some improvements happen. But I do still want to cover all the stuff that comes out. So uh, I will continue to do so. And then hopefully once, you know, this game kind of gets its act together, then I can play it more consistently. Uh, because I'd be more than happy to put money into this game if... I was getting something out of it like if we had a pity system where it's like it was like at least somewhere in the vein of unleashed blading where it's like oh i do a certain amount of multis i get a guaranteed ssr then sure you know i'd be more than happy to but the the way the game is now i could put in a hundred thousand of these crystals and still not get an ssr or not get an ssr character so as of right now i don't really see a reason to go crazy in this game especially when the ssrs i have currently uh do the job just fine for getting me through the content and then, of course, you know, all you have to do is spend, and, you know, obviously I know a lot of people aren't super happy about it, but spending $11 a month to get a free SSR that's actually pretty solid, max duped out, uh, this one also has Starburst Stream, um, is totally fine with me. Obviously, I bought the pass for the Kirito, so that's my second free SSR uh, since the game is released. I've got that one, and then, of course, this Yu-Gi-Oh! over here, uh, wrong character. Uh, this Yu-Gi-Oh right here was also the first month's past character. And both this Yu-Gi-Oh is actually probably my favorite water unit that I have to use right now. I mean, obviously that that's between like four characters, but um he is definitely very, very useful. So uh I have yet to use the Kirito on battle yet though, so I'll use him at some point. But that's pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.